guys, I hope you guys have been doing well. Today I decided to collect all my favorite decor pieces of 2020. So I'm gonna just go through all of them, why I like them, and yeah. I will try my best to link them all below. So if you guys would like to purchase them, you guys can. So I'm gonna go in the order of smallest to biggest decor piece. My first pick are these candles. I'm kind of biased because I actually made them, but these are these ripped pillar candles. I've been loving pillar candles that just look so nice on a shelf or on a table. And these are just the most beautiful color. I love the beige tone. I feel like it's really hard to find a nice milk tea color that's like very, just like has this latte feel. Um, and the ribbed sides I just think are so pretty. Um, the two of them as a set, gorgeous. I just love it. Um, and the scent is actually really nice. My second pick are also candles. Um, these bubble candles have been so popular on Pinterest and in Instagram, specifically the ones on the right. Um, but I actually really like the one on the left a little bit more. I think it's a little bit more unique. The way that like the sides protrude out, I think it's really cool. And I love any sort of candle that is sculptural and I think this is like the definition of what a sculptural candle would be. My third pick is this bubble vase. Um, I personally really like glass so to see glass that is formed in a way that is very modern and very contemporary I think it's really nice. They also sell this in other colors and also different sizes so I think this would look really good with another size and a different color as like an additional set. I think that would look so pretty. I also like that you can just stick like one little step in there i think that just makes it look so minimal but like so nice and clean but it's also not too boring my fourth pick is this digital clock i know it just seems like a normal clock um but i personally am not a big fan of large analog clocks that are in the house um just because i want to be able to read the time really really fast and this digital clock just does it for me i love that it's white i love that it's clean um and it kind of just gives like a modern feel to the room already just because it has this digital element to it um it's really simple but i just think there are so many times people come into my apartment or and really like that specific clock so <laughs> that's a win for me my fifth pick is lego architecture buildings i personally like these two because these are famous architectural homes um, actually, when I was studying interior design in college, these are homes that were studied with my classmates. I actually did not personally study them. My friend did, but I did it. Um, I learned about it a little. But um, yeah, these homes are so beautiful. It's like, I really wish I could live in them or have a home that remotely looked like them. But it's just fun because you can make them. And I think that's just such a fun activity. And on top of that, they're so pretty to display. They're not too flashy and they don't have too much color that it just looks like a very nice model piece and it complements the room instead of kind of clashing it. My sixth pick are design coffee table books. Two of these I got from TJ Maxx and you'd be surprised that TJ Maxx, Home Goods, and Marshalls, they actually have some really nice coffee table books. You just have to look for them. And then one of them I actually recently got as a early Christmas gift. I care a lot about how my coffee table books look. I also care about how it's gonna look on the inside. These books are really fun because when you open them up they are filled with interiors and like hotels and architectural elements and I think that's really cool if anyone decides to flip through them and the outside and the inside looks really really pretty. My seventh pick is this table light. I actually have a matching standing light um, that I have in the corner and I really like these like ring lights um, just because the way that they're made and the way that the light comes in, it's just so modern, so contemporary. Um, it just like makes a statement in itself. Um, I also like that it dims, so I think that's really nice. You can dim it in different settings. Henry loves, Henry loves the table one. Um, he just loves like climbing and being inside of it like a halo. I think it's really, really funny. Um, but yeah, it's just, it has a beautiful color. It's not too warm, it's not too cool. Um, and yeah, it just is a beautiful light fixture. My eighth pick are these puzzles. Um, if you were to ever come into my apartment, you know that I don't really have things on the wall. I don't really put artwork up. Um, just because I 
I don't know why. I, I want to. I think I'm too scared to <laughs> nail the wall. Um, but I also am very indecisive about what kind of posters or what kind of art pieces that I want to hang on my wall. So I decided to look for things that are activities, kind of like the Legos. Um, and I first started with this all white puzzle. It was so challenging but it was also very very fun to do and after it's just like so nice to look at and I know that there's a lot of puzzles out there where it just kind of looks a little tacky just because depending on what the puzzle is, it's just not pretty. But this is something you can display and it looks so nice and so minimal but it's also interesting because it is an all white puzzle. And then I also got a holographic puzzle and it is a lot more colorful than something that I'd normally pick, but I just think it's so cool that literally every time you shift it, it changes colors, which also was difficult, but it was so much fun to do, it's so much fun to display, and every single time I turn it around, it shows a different color, a different little like holographic moment. It's so pretty and I think it's a great way to bring in color into the room but in a very interesting, tasteful way. My ninth pick is this sculpture bag. This is a collaboration with Ikea and Virgil Abloh. He did a collection with Ikea and they came out with a bunch of different things. Um, I believe they came out with like a bed, a chair, a cabinet, these um, sculptural bags, um, paper bag looking things. Um, it's so funny because it's so minimal and it's so simple but I really like it because I can store so much stuff in it. I also really like it because um, the color of just like this paper bag, I think it's actually really, really nice. And it's just like such a statement. And I personally really like that whole idea of like this, anything can be a sculpture. This is a sculptural piece. Um, it's, it's very much that modern contemporary mindset. It's like when you look at a black screen and you know, it's like, ooh, you know, a lot of people have different things to say, but I personally really like stuff like that. Um, and I think it's just like a really nice piece to have in the home. So yeah. My 10th and the last decor pick are my favorite, my absolute favorite furniture item. It's the only furniture item that I decided to put in, but these chairs, these are Plia chairs. They are beautiful. They are from Italy. They, I know for some people it's gonna just look like a plastic folding chair, but it is more than a plastic folding chair. Um, just like the hinges, I love the chrome. I love the clear. Um, the way that the chair folds and opens is absolutely gorgeous. They're really popular now in Korea. Um, I'm sure they're popular in other places as well. Um, but it's just like so pretty just to like have in the corner. You could put like a little plant on it. You could put anything on it. You can actually sit on it. You can do whatever you want on it. But it's just so pretty to look at. It's like, it's so iconic. If you are getting into designer furniture, you should have this chair. <laughs> So those are my top 10 decor picks of 2020. Um, hopefully next year I'll have even more decor pieces. Hopefully not actually because I don't know about space. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know what is your decor pick of 2020. I'm so curious because I'm always looking for more decor to purchase because you can never have too much. So please let me know what, how you're decorating your apartment, your house. I want to know because I want it. Let's all share so we can all have beautiful homes together. <laughs> and I'll make sure to link all the stuff down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye!